Today, I'd like to talk about eight little Japanese habits to incorporate daily that makes your life better and happier. Actually, in Japan, it's said that cleaning the toilet is a great habit that makes your life successful. All of them are habits that can be easily adapted into one's life. So, clean the toilet. For example, Konosuke Matsushita, the founder of Panasonic, Takeshi Kitano, film director and comedian, Soichiro Honda, the founder of Honda. Also in Japan, there is a toilet god named Ususama Myo'o, who brings you economy success. There is an interesting study in this regard. According to a survey by Lion Corporation, the annual household income difference between a house with a clean toilet and a house with a dirty toilet is $7,000. Funny, isn't it? They also found that householders who clean their toilets consistently are generally highly sociable. Maybe that's why they are more likely to be valued at work. Second, humble yourself. People also say that if you keep cleaning the toilet, you will become humble. I've seen thousands of people cleaning toilets. Everyone becomes humble when they clean the toilet. And your humbleness is reflected in your work relationship. Third, to be able to organize your room. So this is something I've been thinking about lately. Organizing more so your room will be cleaner over time. I usually clean the toilet every morning. If you clean it in the morning, it'll feel nice to use a clean toilet all day and feel fresh in the morning. But if you keep cleaning the toilet every day, it really feels good. Organize your shoes. When you take off your shoes, you have to put your shoes together nice and neatly. So what are the benefits of putting shoes neatly? Look at this video. In my share house, its shoes are messy. It would look like this. But if it's organized well, it looks like this. That's why I always do this and think, all right, I did it today as well. I also feel that keeping these small habits are also connected to self-affirmation. Improve your posture. As an ancient Japanese way of thinking, correcting the posture of the body would also correct the way you think. Or rather, they couldn't help but be aware of their posture when they wear a kimono. When you're wearing a kimono, the obi belt helps you stand upright, so wearing a kimono will naturally improve it. Unfortunately, many Japanese today overuse computers and smartphones and tend to slouch. That's happened to me too. That's why I try to wear kimono as much as possible and stand up straight. Fourth, itadakimasu. If you've watched Japanese anime, I'm sure Japanese people always say it before eating or they're chanting within their heart. We express our gratitude to everyone who was involved in the meal, including those who prepared the food, those who served the food, and even those who grew the vegetables. The Japanese believe that meat and fish, as well as vegetables and fruits, have life. So we are grateful for each ingredient. Then thinking like, I will change your life. As for food, I honestly don't mind eating anything. However, no matter what we eat, we fifth, Put the chair back after you. There was a great response to an act he did in a past interview. He had put his chair back neatly. Not everyone does it, but many Japanese put their chairs back when they're finished using it. For example, if you put the chair back on the blood train, it will be easier for the cleaning staff. If you put the chair back in the restaurant, the store staff will be thankful. Sixth, ware tada taru wo shiru. This is my favorite Zen word. Ware means I. Tada means simply, taru means what is enough, shiru means no. In short, knowing that you're content will bring peace to your heart. If you look at what you don't have, 
you will feel dissatisfied with your life. But when you look at something you already have, you can appreciate it more. For example, you may feel unhappy because you have no money, can't buy what you want, or if you don't have a healthy body. But at least you have eyes to watch this video and ears to hear my voice. Also, you have smartphones and computers that can watch my videos, right? Maybe you're sick right now, but there is a heart beating in you and keep you alive right now. Seventh, Okagesama. How are you? Okagesama de, I'm good. If you say Okagesama, this means not only thanks to you, but the person in front of me, but also friends around me, even people you've never met. Okagesama is a magic phrase that can make you feel very humble just by using it. So please try using it every day. How are you? Okagesama de, I'm good. Eighth, going to bed early and waking up early. This is a really simple habit, but it affects your life tremendously. You already know that, right? In today's busy Japanese society, there may be fewer people who do this habit. However, Japanese have long valued this habit of going to bed early and getting up early. Because the Japanese people in the past worshipped the sun every morning. They always started a day with worshipping the sun and saying, Thank you for always looking over us. So imagine in the morning, bathing your body in the fresh light of the sun, which warms your body up gradually and makes you smile and feel happy. So I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. And I try to soak in the fresh morning sunlight and start the best day each day. I think it depends on the country and the person, of course. But if you want to incorporate it into your life, you can start it now because there are small changes. Lastly, I'll give you advice when you want to make something into your habit. Start small step and keep saying every day, let's just do it for only today. Then over time, it will become your habit and your future. I'm not perfect either, but I'm trying to incorporate these into my life little by little.